The original inspiration for this research came from looking at how birds fly. Um, when you look at a plane wing, it's perfectly straight. It might have a little thing that sticks out at the tip, but basically the entire wing is straight. It's planar. But if you look at a bird fly, their wings are never straight. So why is it that we have a straight wing that we've designed, but we only see bent wings when we look at how nature works? And if nature can tell us anything, it's that it knows what it's doing. So we, we're trying to understand how we can learn from the birds around us to better build our own plane wings. There's a, a controversy that's been developing for the past 50 or so years in the aeronautical engineering world uh, that involves the spanwise camber of a wing. In other words, how a wing is bent um, and how that can affect the wing's performance. Uh, a lot of research has been done on this. Uh, a lot of very smart people have been doing a lot of investigations on this, both computationally and experimentally. But it seems like until now, or at least up until now, uh, none of the results have been conclusive. They've been contradictory, or have been, there have been things in every study that lead the results to being uh, questioned beyond uh, validation. So what I'm hoping to do this summer is understand both why the controversy erupted and how we can figure out a way to solve it. We have done the first steps this summer in understanding how to settle this controversy. It's incredibly exciting. Um, I worked on a code this summer that allowed us to identify trends in the geometric parameters of a wing. In other words, how does the length of the wing affect the wing's performance? How does the swept angle of the wing affect the performance? How do these things interact in order to give us uh, wings that we can then test more exclusively in more advanced solvers and experiments? Uh, this summer I've been able to isolate geometries that exhibit phenomena that we have yet to see, which is incredibly exciting. One of the most interesting pieces of the research for me this summer was figuring out a relationship between how much of the wing was straight versus how much it was bent, and what necessary bend you needed to get the best aerodynamic performance out of the wing. That's never been really tested before, and I kind of stumbled upon it as I was researching, and it's now grown into something that we're going to be putting in the tunnel to really investigate. If the wings that we're testing in the tunnel turn out to have promising results within them, we can approach NASA. We can approach Boeing, Airbus, General Electric. We can approach these bigger industries and we can say, look what we found. Will you let us do full-scale testing? Will you let us put these into more advanced wind tunnels? Will you allow us to put them on planes to test? And, you know, in a perfect world, maybe this will be on a plan someday. Maybe this could provide a substantial efficiency boost to the planes that we fly every day between airports. That would be, that would be just incredible if we could do that with this research.